Hello everybody, I hope you've all had a nice week. Welcome to the last part of your maths home learning. Um, it is going to be a maths quiz today and it will be on time because that is what we have been doing this week, well what you've been doing this week at home. Um, so also if you wanted to try out your uh, multiplication skills, I found this times table square online. I'll link a link to it in the home learning. And now with this, you can go from level two up to level four. I would I would hope that you would do level four or level level three because level three has also got your eleven and twelve times tables. But with level four as well, it jumbles up the orders of the numbers, so it makes it a little bit more tricky for you. So um it's less repetitive. And also if you go back onto level four four, it will change. Um, the order that these numbers are in so that you never get the same order twice and it also it's got this nice little tool for you to check your answers at the end which I think is very handy okay so this is the first part of our quiz we're just going to have a little division recap so you have got the calculation here and then you've got a pictorial uh, representation of that calculation and then you've got your answer here so what I would like you to do is pause the video when you're ready and link these calculations to their pictures that are representing that calculation and then on to the answers at the bottom. If you want to challenge yourself and work for, for work the answers backwards, then um, feel free, do it in whichever way you would like to. So if you want to pause the video now and then we can come back and go through it together. Okay, so I hope that was all all right for you. Let's have a look at the first question. So we've got um, 18 divided by 6, which is our first calculation. OK, so in this one, we can see that we have got um, groups of um, we've got three groups of four. OK, so that's been divided between three groups here. Second picture. How many boats? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have got six boats and I can see that none of my other calculations um, are divided by six. And we have got three people in each boat, three times six, which is the number of boats, is equal to 18. So um, that is going to be the answer to that one. And then because we've got six boats and in each boat we have three, three is going to be my answer. 18 divided by six is equal to three. Next, we've got 13 divided by three. Now here, uh, we have got one, two, three. Uh, we've got three groups, and then here we've got um, three uh, people. So it has made three groups here as well. Now, 13 is smaller than 19, and I can see here that the number of counters in this group is less than the cards here. So I'm just going to count here how many we have in one group. We've got one, two, three, four, and we have three groups of four, which is equal to 12. Now we've got a remainder here, which would take us up to 13. So we know that 13 divided by three is going to be this one here, okay? Because three times four is equal to 12, and then we've got our remainder. So the answer is going to be four remainder one. And last but not least, we have got 19 divided by three. So we can see that there are three people here and 19 cars have been divided between them. So we know that um, six goes into 18 three times, okay? So each of these people have got six cars, but that does leave us with a remainder. So we've got 19 divided by three is equal to this one here, which is six remainder one. And I'm going to link that over here. Well done on that one. Um, don't worry if you find it a little bit tricky because there were some pictures in there, but I hope you all did okay. So next we have got the time warm up. So I am talking about the same amount of time. So I'm talking about one year. I want you to match the units up to the numbers. So in here I've got in one year there are, and I've got some numbers here and I've got some units of time here. So I've got months, weeks, and days. Um, so using the knowledge that you've already had and what you've known this week, I want you to 
uh, learnt this week, sorry, I want you to link these up. Now, uh, think about it carefully because uh, we know that there are more days in the year than there are weeks. So we know that the number of days is going to be higher. So pause the video here and have a go. Okay, welcome back if you've paused the video. We are going to link them up now. So I'm going to go straight away, I'm going to go to the smallest number. Um, and I know that there are 12 months in the year because if I say them out loud, I can count to 12 on my fingers. 12 months in the year. And then I'm going to go, I'm working this way from the right to left, 365 days. Now I know that there are more days than there are weeks in the year, and um, this is the smaller number. So there are 365 days in the year, which leaves us with 52 weeks. So again, well done. And we are going on to the second part of our warm up. So every four years, there is an extra day in the month of mm. Okay, so what you might need to do here is have a go with your knuckles. Um, the thing that Miss Long was doing the other day, remember she was counting one month on a knuckle and one month in between her knuckle. Now, every four years there is a leap year and uh, the leap day happens in the month of February because in February there is only 28 days, but every four years we have 29 days in February. Again, you're gonna to need to use your um, how many days are there in a month knowledge to answer this next question. So we have got the 28th of April is a Saturday. What day will the 3rd of May be? So I think, first of all, we need to ask ourselves, how many days are there in April? So I'm going to use my knuckle trick. So January 31, February 28, February, March 31, April, there is going to be 30 because it is in between my knuckles. So the 28th, is i'm just going to write that down here 28th is on a saturday and we know that there are 30 days so we're going to i'm just going to write them down here so 29 30 and i'm going to just write the first letter of each day so saturday sunday monday okay and that is when april ends and um we are already into the next week okay so i'm going to change my color we are now in May. So Tuesday would be May the 1st, Wednesday would be May the 2nd, and Thursday would be May the 3rd. You can do this in your head, but it's quite nice to just see how you've done it visually, okay? So the answer would be Thursday, just trying to do this with my finger, excuse my messy writing. So the answer to that would be Thursday. Well done, that is our warm up done. We are going on to the next part of our quiz, which is going to have a little bit of a story theme to it. If you want to pause the video at any point to answer the questions, then go ahead and do so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, read the questions out and then I will give you some time to pause and then I'll come back and um, do the questions with you, okay? What I might do actually is I might skip to, just so you can see it now, so this is what the questions are. And what you can do is you can pause it on the, um, the screen that you would like and you can have a go at answering the videos before I go through them with you, if you like. Okay, so question one. Uh, all of these questions are themed around Bobby and it is Bobby's birthday. So if Bobby's birthday is in 49 days, how many weeks is it until her birthday? Now, I know that in, um, in every week, there are seven days. Seven days in a week. So what I need to do is I need to do 49 divided by seven, okay? So I need to put 49 into groups of seven. 
So I'm going to use the bus stop method to help me do that. So 49, it's not a very good four. There we go. Right. How many times does seven go into uh, four? Obviously, we know it's 40. Um, but to make it easier for ourselves, um, we're going to see if we can put it into four. We can't do it at all. So we're going to put a zero. So let's carry our four over. How many sevens into 49? Now I know that seven times seven is equal to 49. So seven goes into 49 seven times. So seven. So the answer would be seven. And to make make sure you're right, you could do seven times seven, which is equal to 49. So you're timesing um, seven weeks by seven days and you are getting 49 days in total. So on her birthday, Bobby wakes up at 7 a.m. in the morning. She opens her presents at 11.55 a.m. How much time has passed? Okay, so I need to count up um, to 11.55. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and then I've got this 55 here. So there's one, two, three, four, four hours and 55 minutes. Because if it was a full hour, then the time would show 12. So we need to make sure um, that we add the 55 minutes afterwards because not a full hour has passed because otherwise it would be five hours. So the answer is four hours and 55 minutes. So her family surprises her with a trip to the bowling alley. They have two hours before they have to return home. Games last 40 minutes. How many games could they fit in? Okay, so there's a couple of things you needed to do to work out your answer here. So first of all, you needed uh, to do a bit of converting. So you needed to work out how many minutes there were in two hours. So we know in one hour there is 60 minutes. So I needed to time 60 minutes by two because there is two hours and I got 120 minutes and I've written it as mins here. Now because the games last 40 minutes, I needed to divide 120 by 40 so that I could find out um, because 40 is how long one game is, I needed to find out how many games would fit into 120 minutes. And the answer to that was three. And to make it easier, I took the zeros off and did 12 divided by four, which was also equal to three. Okay, um, you can double check and um, do it the other way around. So you could do 40 times three and see if you get 120 to make sure your answer is right. So the answer would be three games. So next question, when they get home, Bobby's family decide to prepare her cake and light her birthday candles. It takes them five minutes to prepare it secretly. How long did it take in seconds? Okay, so the answer to this one, you need to work out how many seconds there are in one minute. So we know that in one minute there are 60 seconds uh, and, and five minutes have passed. So we need to do 60 times five. So to make it easier, I took off uh, the zero from the 60 and did six times five um, and I got 30. So I knew now, I know, I knew when I did 60 times five, I just needed to add a zero on at the end. So the answer to this one is 300 seconds. Okay, well done. So far, we are on to our last question. If you'd like to pause now, and then we can have a look at it together after. Okay, so on this last one, I have shown my workings out. So I worked out how many days were in each month. So there's 28, 23 days left in August. And then I counted up how many days there were left until Christmas through each month. I then got 139 days and I divided that by seven to find out how many weeks there would be. And I got 100, uh, 19 weeks remained at six. So 19 weeks and six days. And I used the bus stop method to help me do that. 
Well done for quizzing. Give yourselves a pat on the back and I will see you next week.